What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overload here. So I'm talking about The Exorcist requel or yeah, I'll call it a requel. <laughs> the next Exorcist movie that's supposed to be coming out October 13th, I believe, of next year. The first of a planned trilogy from David Gordon Green, Danny McBride, I believe Scott Teams had a hand in it, and also Jason Blum, Blumhouse, because they've, they've been working on this, I would imagine, I think since as early as 2021 was the first time I heard about this. I just want to share my thoughts on this project and Jason Blum's recent comments, talk about my experience with the very first movie and what my hopes are for this upcoming movie. So recently, the most recent bit of news that came out was that Anne Dowd will be starring in this movie. Now, if you're not familiar with her, if the role that you are familiar with her with might ring a bell she was in hereditary she just landed a role in the upcoming exorcist trilogy that's supposed to come out next year and leslie odom jr starring in this and ellen burston who was starring in the original as chris mcneil who we know is the mother of reagan she's returning as well there was no reports on the reagan actress returning though no word about that no word of course on any of the two priests being back and to my knowledge, I believe those two stars, unfortunately, have passed. But the story for this apparently will revolve around Odom Jr. playing a father of a possessed child who is desperate for help. He tracks down Mrs. Mrs. Burston's character, who again is Chris McNeil, who we know is the actress who was the mother of Reagan in the original movie. Now, I just want to talk about my experience with that original movie really quick. The original Exorcist movie, I've seen that now, I would say in totality of six times. The sixth time was rewatched recently by me. The other five times sporadically throughout my childhood. I remember the first time I saw it, I had no interest in rewatching that movie only because I was someone who was raised in a very religious house. So at the time I was just like, yeah, that's, that's a little bit too close to home about some of the stuff that you're being raised on and just how well made that movie is. It's a very good horror movie. The practical effects the performances uh just out of pure curiosity when i was older or starting to reach like age 10 and going into my teenage years that's when i finally got into re-watching that original movie watching the sequels which i'm not a fan of so i'm all in on whatever david gordon green wants to present to us although whatever happens when halloween ends might make me a little bit skeptical about what they're going to do with this upcoming exorcist movie but that original movie has so much that holds up that i can understand why many people might be in the mindset of they don't need to do anything with this because you probably are already in a position where you think they shouldn't have even had their hands on this halloween franchise now they're going to touch something that i know many people would even argue is an ip that's much more historically relevant than than Halloween or much more praised compared to Halloween on a filmmaking technical standpoint and maybe on all cylinders as it relates to movie making with The Exorcist. Now you want to touch this after many people already think you're butchering Halloween. Uh, I'll see what they can do with Halloween ends but with this iteration of The Exorcist I just hope that they can live up to the practical effects that many people still go on about to this day deliver some very unsettling sequences uh slow paced tension sequences the overall cinematography everything about that movie is very haunting and chilling and just very uneasy or, or gives you this feeling of unease constantly while you're watching and maybe to you while if you're someone who watches it with a fresh pair of eyes for the very first time today maybe you won't understand it but in the 70s i didn't watch it in the 70s obviously but even still for someone who watched it almost 20 or 30 years later at the time that movie was terrifying it still is very terrifying and it's amazing when movies like that can hold up all these years later and still be a very nerve-wracking experience when you watch them uh again the performances everything that it was talking about with morality about religion and whether or not we deserve to be saved by god all that was just very close to home as a kid so i never really got into the series at itself until i got much older in my childhood but again with plot details like that i'm hoping that what they might do is maybe pull a, a little bit from the real life story of what that original novel is based off and maybe in some way that's how they can bring in the character of Chris McNeil if they just draw inspiration from the actual story that the novel is based off of. So if they do something like that, I'd be all down for that. Uh, but they've been hyping this up, talking about how it's going to be scary. It's going to be 
something that they've studied and taken a taken a good look at as far as prepping. David Gordon Green had like an interview with Games Radar talking about it, uh, talked about how the script had been written and going over how he likes those movies. And he went over talking about how the sequels in and of themselves, they can all fall into the acceptable mythology for what he's doing. So it's not like he's ignoring those movies if you're a fan of the sequels. And Jason Blum, he recently had some comments about saying we're getting ready to make it. Hopefully we'll do the same thing with the exorcist that we did with Halloween. Make it in a way that's fresh and worth revisiting and feels different enough so that people are happy we did it. David Gordon Green is very good at respecting intellectual property that already exists and putting a new spin on it. Now, again, with a statement like that, there's a bunch of Halloween fans that if you're listening to this video, I already know you're going to chime in and say going off of what you've seen from his Halloween movies. You don't think so. And you might be a little bit bothered that he's the one reviving this IP. But I'm excited for it. I hope it is something that is well made. I don't think this movie is going to be something that's going to rival the first movie. Not at all. Not at all. It might be something that can rival those sequels. I, I am honestly a little bit on the fence about these, the notion that it needs to be a trilogy. And I think I saw something about Peacock having exclusive, exclusive distribution to the two other chapters in the trilogy. If that happens, something with a Peacock deal. I don't know why it has to be a trilogy. I don't know where they could go with this other than, you know, bringing back Pazuzu once again and just telling all these iterations of Pazuzu and other narratives in their trilogy who Pazuzu again from what I recall again because I just recently rewatched the movie never mentioned on screen in the first movie but that's the established demon that was possessing Reagan so if they want to tell a lot of Pazuzu stories with this new trilogy they can do that if this is even Pazuzu they're focusing on because the character the father could actually just reach out to the mother from the first movie just because he looks her up and sees that oh she dealt with this th with a possession with her daughter reagan and she comes to town and maybe she'll learn that it's still the same demon pazuzu and she gives her insight on it honestly if you're not excited for the exorcist that's coming out next year let me know why down in the comment section below i really just don't think it's going to be able to rival all those great qualities of the original movie it might just be something that makes it a better sequel than the other two that i think are terrible if you haven't recorded make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and this video in the description i'll have links to my social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course limiters any movies news or reviews like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video